We are here just outside of Cincinnati, Ohio at Jungle Gems International Market. Here is the statue of Harambe, which if you remember Harambe was a silverback ape that used to be at the Cincinnati Zoo. So here is what it looks like as soon as you walk in to Jungle Gems. Over here they have a cookie store that seems to be closed down at the moment. But it's almost like an amusement park grocery store. Right over here are some porta johns, but actually these porta johns lead down the hallway to an actual restroom. Now showing the Jungle Gym story. The heat just eat up that produce. It was pretty rough back then. There's Marsha, and she would always bring her dog. It's a gummy bear selection. Check out this cool dragon, which is in the Asian sauces and spices section. And here in the Indian food section, they have an actual rickshaw that is on display. That's super cool. And from Jungle Gems to Shanghai, China, it is 7,306.6 miles. I don't really understand the connection between the UFO and the noodle soup, but it is neat. Here are some pinatas in the Hispanic aisle. They even have sombreros for sale. And we are close to the hot sauce aisle, as indicated right here by this fire truck. We have now entered the fiery food section. Let's just take a look and see what they have here. Remember, this is an international market. Stubbs Barbecue, that is one of our favorites there. We love Stubbs. Now this kind of just looks like regular barbecue sauce with some wasabi. It looks like we may, getting, we may be getting a little hotter back here with the fire hats. This right here is called pain apple. Mm. Cinnamon ghost punch. Ghost pepper hot sauce. This just sounds miserable. This hot sauce is called pain, 100%. They look like they're having a great time too, don't they? Look at this hot sauce. It's actually called sudden death. Imagine the indigestion you're gonna have after eating some of that. I'm always looking for a good type of coffee that'll keep me awake. This might get the job done. And they've got Tortuga rum cakes. These are actually really good. The last time we visited Grand Cayman, we got a whole set of these and they are very, very delicious. And look, right above the Tortuga rum cakes, we have this awesome pirate ship. So we really enjoy Screecher's soda. And our favorite one is actually Orange Dream, which we have a lot of trouble finding. We do find it occasionally when we're in Pigeon Forge, but they have some new flavors that we have not heard of, such as Puma Cola. And moving down the aisle here, taking a look at some other weird and exotic colas to choose from, we have Nuclear Orange Bomb with Kim Jong Il on the front. Some Gene Autry root beer, Judge Wapner root beer from the People's Court, some Alien Soda, Marilyn Monroe, and even Farrah Fawcett Soda. I don't even want to imagine what this tastes like right here. Ugh. Look at that, they have a bazooka bubblegum flavored soda. Australian style hot ginger ale. Look at this massive jet engine with a wing. 
that has hot sauce on the ends of each wing. King of Pop. Here are all of your favorite Kellogg's cereals, as well as Keebler. You got Tony the Tiger, the Keebler Elves, Kellogg's Raisin Bran. There is Fred Flintstone and his friend Barney. And here's an old Batmobile. And there's an old Bigfoot. And we can smell it, but we can also tell based on this boat that we are almost in the seafood section. There's a jet ski called the Purple People Eater. We've got some moon snails, oysters, clams, and shrimp. Grouper, walleye, tilapia, perch, catfish, flounder, sea bass, snapper, mullet, corgi, and whole monk. Look at that whole monk. Wow. And if you're really into seafood, here they have tenderized octopus, squid, and live conch. Wow. I love how here at Jungle Gyms, you can just simply look up and you know, based on the pig, you're in the pork section. I would safely assume looking over here that this is gonna be the honey section. I was gonna say, Henry's really wanting to ride on this. I think once upon a time, it may have been a real ride, Henry. Here's some whipped chocolate honey as well as cinnamon honey. That's Barry from the B-Movie. Barry from the B-Movie. And here is the maple syrup section. Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner. Meet me. The Smurfs would be very proud. This is not your ordinary deli. Look at how many meat slicers they have back here. And if you're looking for apples, they've got them. What section is this, guys? Candy. All right, Spider-Man, Wolverine, the Incredible Hulk, M&Ms, guys. It's all kinds of freshwater taffy. There's a huge giant Pez. Look at this Jelly Bellies card. It's right over here. Look at this big carton and container of Warheads. There's also Laffy Taffy, Airheads, and it's not actually priced that bad. It's $8.99, $8.99 for each of these canisters. If you love Smarties, $8.99 for that whole entire canister. Even the chipmunks are right here in Candyland. Jungle Gems. There's Alvin himself. So I've been calling this massive candy area Candyland, but it's actually called the Candy Castle. And here's a 360 degree panorama of all of the candy. And Gentry and Jennifer just pointed out that the bottom of these candy racks are old bumper cars. I hate basic bumper cars. You do like bumper cars, don't you? Yeah. 
Mini Icy's. Those look fun. I think they are something else in it. And we have not found these in Tennessee for years. They are the Cream Saver Lifesaver candies. And they have the orange as well as the strawberry. Jennifer's very excited. She's going to grab a couple packs. <laughs> They're only $2.99 a bag. Not bad. And this is called Toxic Waste Slime Liquor. And speaking of cheese, this cheese weighs 814 pounds. It is monstrous. Provide a little more information about this cheese. It was delivered back in October of 2021 and took six months to make. It's Tom and Jerry cheese car. And if you just want to rest here at Jungle Gyms, they have some old airline seats that you can take a break in. And right here is the nutrition and food aisles. There's even a keto aisle. And there is a toy section here at Jungle Gyms International Food Market. Here's the world's smallest toolkit. Here are some ukuleles that they have. A strawberry ukulele, a watermelon ukulele. Mango Jim Mountain Dew, and here's another one I've never seen before. Baja Gold Mountain Dew. Here are some Jungle Gems candy bars. Jennifer just got one right here with some dark chocolate. Back at the original Jungle Gems in 1971, bananas were only nine cents a pound. Today they were 51 cents. Well, everybody, that was Jungle Gems International Food Market. Gentry, what you think of Jungle Gems? It was a very cool place. Not like you can see it every day, but it's very nice. And Henry, what did you think, buddy? Um, did you have fun? That's the important part, right? <laughs> Jennifer, what'd you think? I liked it. It can be a little bit overwhelming because it's really big and there's so many things to look at, but it's really cool. And we enjoyed the experience. Uh, I enjoyed the experience as well. It was really cool that the boys got to hit the buttons and there was a lot of interactive uh, moving animatronics. We wanted to film a little bit more about the food, but we were just so overstimulated and overwhelmed with everything that they had to offer that we really focused a lot of the filming on that. And uh, so hopefully next time that we're up here, we'll get a little bit more of the international foods that they had to offer because they do have some really cool selections. And guys, we thank you so much for tagging along with us today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. And what does the Roadrunner say? Meet me. Henry, what does the Roadrunner say? Ooh, ooh. Apparently they're pretty proud of their bakery section here at Jungle Gyms. And if you have any issues while you're here at Jungle Gems, you can simply call Jim's wife. Here's the number.